Next question is from Catherine Health Journey. Can you explain how too much volume is negative for hypertrophy? Why is doing more exercises or more frequency often considered negative? Yeah, you know, your your body isn't you're not building muscle, you're not you're not improving your physique or your performance or your strength in your workout. You really aren't. All that's doing is it's sending a signal to the body that says we need to adapt and get better at this so that this same stress next time is no longer a stress. And so your body, what you want is your body to get stronger and you feel better. And the next time you have to add weight, do a little harder workout so you can continue that process. If the stimulus is too hard and, and it overwhelms your body's ability to adapt, all you're going to do is heal. All you're ever going to do is your body's ever going to just try to heal and recover. And you get stuck in this situation where you blast your body, you get sore, soreness goes away, you go back to the gym, you repeat the cycle over and over again, and you never improve because your body can only focus on healing. Before your body adapts, it heals. It needs to heal before it adapts. And if it doesn't, if, it, if you give your body too much volume or too much intensity or too much frequency, just too much in general, your body can't adapt. It, it's impossible. It's constantly breaking down. So the right dose will get you to the results uh, fastest. Well, Any always, more than that will get you there. You always give that great analogy on the podcast, and you haven't you haven't said it in a while. So maybe we can share it again. Is when you you know ex compare it to uh, sun tanning. Like oh, if yeah. you get tan, like so it's 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 more like that than than something that oh the more I do the more results. Yes, I get. yes. It's you're you're a, a tan. Tan is also an adaptation process, right? Your skin is is adapting to the stress of the UV rays, and it's mm -hmm. getting darker so that it can tolerate more. Well, if you you know. If Which is exactly what, what, exactly oh, what happens yeah. when you stimulate with muscle. Yeah. You stimulate, the body's adapting by building more muscle to be more resilient because it knows it's going to get beat up like that. You, same, you right. see the same process in building a callus, too, with, with the skin. And yes. So that's one of those things. Like It's beneficial at a certain point because now you know it allows like you to grip the bar you know, without your, your skin getting so irritated, but there's a certain threshold where if we go too hard, it's going to rip off. And that's then, right. And then we start over and we just got to heal. That's right. So the, the gym is important. Working out is important. But you go too hard or too long or do too much, it, your body can't handle it. It's not going to adapt. And all you're doing is breaking down and healing, breaking down and healing. It's the, what is that? The breakdown recovery trap. It's like a mm -hmm. hamster wheel. I, I I know lots of people like this. It's like they never improve or they oh, improve. I was, I was this way for years. Oh, yeah. For yeah. years I trained because I, I subscribed to this idea of training to failure. So like every workout, it need to be I need to be crushing it more than the last workout, mm -hmm. and so you, and it was like how if I wasn't sore enough the next day. Problem with that was I was never adapting and growing. I was you know I was recovering sometimes and not even all the times fully recovering. So I was hammering myself so much that I didn't even not only did I not fully recover, I also didn't adapt and get stronger, mm -hmm. which is and, and a clear indication of this. A real easy way for someone to go like, well, how do I know? Is if you're not if you're not getting stronger ever. And, and if you actually see yourself decrease in strength, yeah. really common to see that where you have all of a sudden you've been consistent for two months, three months in a row, and you're getting weaker one week. Oh, you're yeah. overdoing it. Yeah. Oh, this is a hard conversation though to have a lot of times because you, you think about the person that works so incredibly hard yeah. and, and it's, it's something that they've always done and it's worked out in every other direction. Look, and, but there's, there's a certain point where just working hard is, is not going to do it. Like you really have to be smart about your approach and, and the body it Adapts, and that's different than just beating the shit out of yes, it. Yes, hard work is very valuable, but boy, you can dig a ditch with a spoon, and you're going to be working real hard. But the guy next to you with a backhoe, he's going to get there much faster, right? So you got to do it smart too.